بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہوپ آل آف یور فائن آئی ایم یور بایولوجی ٹیچر اینڈ مائی نیم از فرحان انجم ویلکم ٹو ایپ سکس آن لائن سپورٹ پروگرام اسٹوڈنٹس دس از ڈے تھری آف ویک سیون اینڈ آر چیپٹر نمبر سیون از بایو انرجیٹکس یسٹر ڈے وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دی میکینزم آف لائٹ ریئیکشن آر ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از کیلون سائیکل اور ڈارک ریئیکشن ٹو ڈے وی ول لرن اباؤٹ دی میکینزم ڈیٹیل میکینزم آف ڈارک ریئیکشن Both light reaction or dark reaction are occurring inside the chloroplast. Light reaction is occurring in the thylakoid membrane or dark reaction is occurring in the, in the stroma of the chloroplast and dark reaction is also called Kelvin cycle or light independent reaction. This uh, Kelvin cycle use, here you can see carbon dioxide, it uses carbon dioxide and produces glucose. So the end product of dark reaction is glucose. And the end product of light reactions are ATP, NADPH and oxygen. ATP and NADPH plus carbon dioxide are utilized by Kelvin cycle dark reaction. Dark reaction localization is stroma of chloroplast. It is discovered by Melvin Kelvin and the cycle name after the name of the scientist who discovered it called Kelvin cycle. There are three phases of dark reaction. Number first is carbon fixation. Second is reduction. And the third one is regeneration. Let's move to discuss about these three phases of dark reaction. Step number one is carbon fixation. Carbon dioxide coming from the environment inside the plant cell. This is first picked up by the 5 carbon compound. This 5 carbon compound is an enzyme. When this one molecule of carbon dioxide gets fixed with the 5 carbon compound enzyme, it is converted into 6 carbon compound. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But this is a very temporary 6 carbon compound. Okay, these are highly unstable. Now these 6 carbon compound split to produce 2 molecules. From the center, they split to produce two molecules of 3,3 carbon compound. Now this compound, 3 carbon compound get stable. So this is the first step that is carbon fixation. It means that environmental carbon dioxide gets fixed in the uh, enzyme that is 5 carbon compound. The second step is reduction. There is present two molecules of three carbon compound. Now it is reduced, reduced with the help of NADH into carbohydrate. This carbohydrate is then used to prepare glucose, the final product of dark reaction. How it is converted to glucose? By reducing with NADH and here I, I have mentioned that P with these three carbons. This P is the phosphorylated. This ATP gives phosphate to these three carbon compound okay the final last and third step is regeneration regeneration of what enzyme the three carbon compound carbohydrate is uh, going to regenerate the five carbon compound that is enzyme so enzyme regenerate after being used up in the cycle this step also utilize ATP here is the diagrammatic representation of dark reaction of photosynthesis, the Kelvin cycle. In the first step, you can see that these five carbon, on the left side, you can see five carbon compound picks the carbon dioxide from the environment. Here, three molecules of this compound enzyme is present and three molecules of carbohydrates, okay, present. Now, five carbon and one carbon dioxide combine to make six carbon compound then this is called carbon fixation carbon gets fixed inside this molecule then this six molecule uh, carbon compound is highly unstable so split to form three carbon compound and this three carbon compound reduced to produce carbohydrate which is then uh, used to make glucose then again this three carbon compound uh, regenerate five carbon compound that is enzyme so this is the basic overview of the dark reaction of photosynthesis your homework is to learn the summary of dark reaction and the summary is carbon dioxide molecules are combined with the five carbon compound to form two com 
temporary six carbon compound each of which split into three carbon compound this is carbon fixation the next one is reduction the three carbon compounds are reduced to three carbon carbohydrate by using atp and hydrogen from nadph so this process uh, this step needs atp and nadph the three carbon carbohydrate are used to manufacture glucose the end product of the dal reaction then uh, the last step is regeneration the three carbon carbohydrate are also used to regenerate original five carbon compound enzyme this step also utilizes atp i hope all of you have understood the basic three cons three steps of dal reaction carbon fixation reduction and regeneration still you have any question you can ask thank you take care and have a nice day